lunch on Thursday will be chicken, fajita, apples, pears, bread, along with some milk. Friday will be barbecue pork, green Yum. beans, fruit mix, fresh fruit, and some more milk. Sounds nasty. All performing arts students need to sign up for a donation for the Sweetheart Silent Auction that we are having on February 9th. Okay, this will be real. You need to go buy yourself something there. Because it's Valentine's Day. It's five days after that. You're going to need something to get your girl. They buy the basket, and then you can say, I made this back as a basket mm -hmm. for you, and I give it to them. Especially. Yeah. Aw, thanks for yeah. the basket. Because they'll think you put in work. Nope. You actually spent like 20 Took bucks. zero thought. Just money. No emotional value. Just buy love. Love is bought. <laughs> 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 Sign up outside the band room. That was my thing. Sorry. I'm going to read the first part of mine. No, I'm not. Any junior interested in applying for girls or boys state, there are pamphlets in the office. Deadline for girls is February 10th. What about boys? They don't have that yet. February 12th? 12th. 12th. Yeah. Tw February 5th. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Speech meet will be at Stewart. Saturday. That's and at Wausau on the 10th, please make changes on your calendar. Both start at 8 o'clock. Better than Winside. Why? Because that means a joke. Oh. Okay. District FFA proficiency review is on Saturday. That is all. Blah, blah, blah. Same intro every day. Seriously, this gets old. Israel described as, quote, very proactive on Wednesday on the Yemeni's offshore oil and gas exploration tender in disputed territory of the country's maritime borders and said it was a mistake for international firms to participate. Le Lebanese Prime Minister Sahad al Hara, whose country considers Israel as an enemy state, says the comments were on several, quote, threatening messages from Israel to Lebanon in recent days. Hara and other Lebanese ministers responded angrily after Israel's defense minister, Avigra Laman, said, quote, where they issue a tender on gas field, including Block 9, which by any standards is ours. This is very, very challenging and proactive conduct here. Respectable firms bidding on tender are, in, to my mind, making a grave error because this is, is contrary to all the rules and protocols in cases like this, he told an international security conference hosted in Tel Aviv University's INSS think tank. Lebanon is, in December, approved a bid by the custodian of France's Total Italy, NI, and Russian Noveka for two of the five blocks put up for tender in the country's much-delayed first oil and gas offshore licensing round. One of the awarded blocks, Block 9, borders Israeli waters. Lebanon has an unresolved maritime border dispute with Israel over a triangular area of, say, about 860 square miles, 330 miles. That extends along the edges of the three of the blocks. Quote, Lebanon's words about Block 9 are a threat to Lebanon and its right to sovereignty over territorial waters, Lebanese President Michel Aron said on his official Twitter account. Haras said the country would take up comments with the relevant international bodies to affirm its right in act of territorial waters. In the statement from his press office, Hara said Lebanon's words were blatant pro Provocation. <clears throat> Foreign Minister Gerwa Bahasa said he would send a letter to the United Nations two weeks ago affirming Lebanon's right to defend itself and its economic interests. Energy Minister Kaza Abi Kala said,
Quote, Lebanon will use all available methods to fend off the Israel aggression, which was announced today. Israel last war went to war with Lebanon in 2006 against the Iran black Shiite group Hezbollah. With tensions rising anew, Lebanon, a far right in Prime Minister Beijing Naha Netanyahu, conservative coalition government, said Lebanon would, quote, pay the full price for any new Hezbollah attacks on Israel. Wow, that was long. Also, tensions rise as if they weren't present enough. Man, I hate this. Corn here with some sports news. Wrestling duels here versus Laurel Concord Coleridge, Ponca, and Dakota Valley on Thursday at 5.30. Boys basketball at Wausau on Thursday, CHS versus Winnebago at 5. The Crane Boys basketball squad enjoyed a 52-44 victory over the number 7 Winside Wildcast. Wildcast, yeah, totally. Chase Largen scored 15 points with Noah Lilly and Wyatt Diedrichson both contributing 9 points to go with... 10 rebounds from Carson Lilly and 9 from White Dietrichson. Several others contributed with points. They will be facing the number 2 Winnebago team at Wausau on Thursday. James Harden had a historic game last night, recording the first ever 60-point triple-double. The All-Star and MVP frontrunner scored 60 points to go 10 rebounds and 11 assists while leading the Houston Rockets to a 114-107 victory over the Orlando Magic. 60 points is also the new highest points in a game for this season. In NFL news, the Kansas City Chiefs has agreed to trade quarterback Alex Smith to the Washington Redskins for a third-round draft pick and an unnamed player. The official trade will happen in March. To go along with all the injuries over the weekend to All-Stars, John Wall, who is re receiving knee surgery, and Kevin Love, who hurt his hand against the Pistons, have both been <laughs> ruled ineligible to play in the All-Star game. And finally, I know this happened yesterday, but I wasn't here, Blake Griffin of the Clippers, formerly of the Clippers, has been traded to the Pistons, along with Willie Reed and Bryce Johnson for Tobias Harris, Boban Marjanovic, and I'm pretty sure Avery Bradley. I'm just doing this from memory. Yeah. Forgot to mention Go the Pist Nets lost. No. <laughs> no, they did not. Physical loss, not, not mental loss, though. You know, I lost my slide somewhere.